It is being said, without sacrifices, there is no victory. Two country at war. 60,000 nuclear weapons. One flesh. Billion of people die. The 26th of September 1983. Stanislav Petrov was a lieutenant colonel in the Soviet Union Air Defense Forces, and his job was to monitor his country's satellite system, which was looking for any possible nuclear weapons launches by the United States. The computer sounded an alarm, indicating that the US had launched five nuclear-armed intercontinental ballistic missiles. It was already a moment of extreme tension in the Cold War. On September 1st of that year, the Soviet Union shot down a Korean Airlines plane that had drifted into Soviet airspace, killing all 269 people on board, including a U.S. congressman. U.S. missiles could reach the Soviet Union in just over 20 minutes. Petrov had to act quickly. The Soviet Union's military and political leadership needed to be informed without delay. After several nerve-jangling minutes, Petrov didn't send the computer warning to his superiors. He checked to see if there had been a computer malfunction. If he had reported that up the chain of command then, we should be talking about the Great Nuclear War of 1983 if any of us survived. He had guessed correctly. 23 minutes later nothing had happened. He said about that moment, I felt like I was sitting on a hot frying pan. Petrov died on May 19, 2017 at age 77, in a suburb outside Moscow. He never considered himself a hero. He said, that was my job, I am not a hero. I just right man, at the right time, in right place. But people know him. The man who saved the world.